And Rod Sabbath there. Darren Lindsay's run wide. Yes, he has it. Ian Locker goes through. Locker takes third. But he's pointing frantically at his machine. I can only assume he's trying to tell Darren Lindsay that he has a problem with his bike. Bike four, John McGuinness, one of the big pre-race favourites today. He'll be disappointed to be down in seventh. Ryan Farquhar eighth, Connor Cummins ninth, and Martin Finnegan making up the top ten. Back on board with Darren Lindsay. Well, he certainly hasn't eased off, has he? Despite what Locker was trying to tell him. Through the start finish, and Darren Lindsay has really got the bit between the teeth. He pops out from behind Ian Locker. On board now with Locker. What can we see? And it's Darren Lindsay who goes through. Oh, just look at Guy Martin through wheelers. Well, that gives you an indication of just how hard these two men are pushing. Look at Hutchison. Up the inside, and he takes the race lead. Ian Hutchison with a great move through Turnagraph. And Darren Lindsay has eventually worked out that he does have a major problem with his bike. Oh, they're right together. And Ian Locker has company for third place now too. It's Bruce Anstey. Hutchison meandering all over the track, trying to shake off Guy Martin. It's not gonna be that easy. Ian Locker still third, Bruce Anstey fourth. So a new lap record for Ian Hutchison, 125.267. And I think he's going to have to match it again if he's going to hold off Martin. Martin lines him up into Turnagruff on the brakes. Back wheel slides and he's through. Oh, they almost touched there. Now, can Hutchison respond? Into the hairpin. Tries the outside line. Trying to get a drive out of that hairpin. Locker still holding off. Bruce Anstey. Guy Martin is going to take the race win, though. It will be his first international road race success. An absolutely thrilling super sport race at Dundrog. Hutchison's new lap record, not enough. Guy Martin taking the race win. Locker did hold off Bruce Anstey for third. But a memorable day for the Englishman. There was a backmarker coming into Joey's wind and I thought, bloody hell, it's either do or do or die on the backmarker or I'll roll off. I had to roll off and then up she come past me up the hill. And I thought, bloody hell, I'm not having that, you know. <laughs> so out of wheelers, got a real good drive out of there and into Turner Gruff. I thought, do or die. It's either win it or put it in the gravel. So I won it. Took quite a long time to get in, get past Guy. I couldn't really slipstream or anything. And then when we got there, it was just passing and passing each other. You know, I'd, I'd have liked to have been sat home watching that, but you know, it was an awesome race, so close for road racing. But you know, there's a lot of people want it a lot. You know, now and the, the racing is coming on.